We are now at the end of March and there is a new conductor appearing on our podium, German's June Merkel. June Merkel is uh, a conductor with great experience. He is a couple of years younger than I am and he has been the music director of the orchestra of uh, the French city of Lyon over the past years and he has also been the music director of the orchestra in Leipzig over the past years and I'm very happy to present him here in Oregon. Especially being in France, he's kind of a specialist on French music but uh, we work together on this program and he's bringing a different fair to our town. He's bringing Liszt Prometheus, symphonic poem and then he will perform Rachmaninoff's Piano Concerto Number no. 1, this wonderful first attempt at the great form of piano concertos by Sergei Rachmaninoff. And this brings back to our podium the wonderful pianist Kirill Gerstein, with whom uh, I have worked extensively and who also on a different occasion was already here at uh, the podium of the Arlen Schnitzer Concert Hall. I believe that over the last seven years, this is Kirill's third appearance with our orchestra, which only showcases how well liked he is with the orchestra and our audience. And the program concludes with Dvorak's Symphony Number no. 8. This is actually a very interesting composer overall, because you know, in the Romantic period of music, it just happened that composers, when they wrote symphony, they turned a little bit to what I call the dark side of character, meaning their music tended to be more serious, more tragic, more melancholic. But there were two exceptions during the 19th century. One was that in the early 19th century, Felix Mendelssohn, who really didn't write tragic music, and the other one is Antonin Dvorak, the great Czech composer. So, you expect, please, a very happy music, very melodic Dvorak at his best. And June Merkel is going to start the program with Liszt Prometheus symphonic poem, which is the fifth um, symphonic poem that Liszt wrote. And I think the best way to describe what is uh, happening in the music is by telling you what actually the legend of Prometheus is. Greek mythology, Prometheus, um, plays a prank on Zeus, the god of all gods, by requiring the better cuts of meat. When meat was being divided between gods and man, Prometheus, being a man, a human, kind of managed to trick Zeus in such a way that he got the better meat than the god. Okay, Zeus was not amused and deprived humanity uh, from fire. But Prometheus, who's, who was a very sly man, stole fire from Zeus. And when he did that, Zeus was really angry and he chained Prometheus to a rock and sent an eagle to always feast on Prometheus' liver. Now, that story, of course, is a bloody mess. But when you hear it put in music by the great Franz Liszt, it is a wonderfully enjoyable symphonic poem. Just watch out for this program. <laughs> 